My name is Lauren Bowker, I'm the Materials Alchemist at The Unseen, which is a materials exploration house, uh, which is kind of based on integrating biological and chemical technologies into fabrics, together with the cutter, Jess Smith, and the anatomist, Krista Lees. The Unseen is a place where people can come together and find what the Unseen means to them. We decided to, to use air, air to launch, which was a, um, an ink I developed um, over the past you know, four years, which um, changes colour to pressure. As a consultant, we used that in Formula One and in car industries to visualise aerodynamics. And then we created a series of sculptures, um, which are behind me, which will change colour to different fluctuations of air around the body. We wanted to show that you don't have to just use digital, you don't have to just go and put it on a big pop star. You know, you can do it beautifully and that the technology is an add-on. Well, then we were approached by Swarovski. We were a bit like, oh, they're not really brand aligned. The more we spoke with the gemstone side of things, we went over to Wattens and in Austria and we had a big tour of their factories. We realised how technically great they were and creating a piece with them which had purpose. So it was beautiful, um, it was technical. When you um, think in different ways and which areas of the brain is active, the piece will change colour. Although it was for Swarovski, the amount of people we've had from the healthcare industry side of things and emails from parents whose you know, children had like not had any brain activity for certain reasons and it was quite like it's about creating something that people can have and that will change their lives and I hope that will filter through to the NHS and to healthcare and I've worked in that space before and I left because it was very very long-winded and I didn't want to spend the next 30 years on one thing but I think I'll go back to that. We're still so young and we're sort of, you know, it's going really, really quickly and I think part of it because wearable technology is this massive buzzword right now and I'd ask like designers using this stuff to be really exclusive with it and create luxury, beautiful, one-off products that will last a lot longer than throwing it on everything and next season not being cool. The beauty of what we do is we don't have to create a new manufacture process whereas wearable technologists and piece, you know, all these people using micro-engineered um, circuits and stuff have to go and find where they can get that from and try and create a new production line, whereas we can go straight into any textile production line that exists. We're building a lab here, we're building the sort of all the means possible so we can do small scale productions and license out the technology that we create each season. Presently, um, the compounds that we have can sense up to seven parameters in the environment. So they can sense heat, UV, pollution, moisture, friction, chemicals. Um, and sound, and then we'll release our eighth one um, this season. We're working with big brands, uh, three of which I'm not allowed to say who they are, but have signed on from apparel, from automotive, um, and from architecture. Technology is the future of fashion, I don't think so, no. I think it will always be now, like people don't really want change. I think if you ask me what 2050 looks like, it looks exactly like this, and then nothing's changed except everything's integrated. I don't think it'll be one moment where we wake up and we're all in Blade Runner.